Hi, Taylor T. Carlson. I'm back with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 live action remake of Mulan. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook that I just picked up. It has a 4K disc and a Blu ray disc that has a copy of the movie as well as the bonus features. This movie has had a really long and turbulent history even before it's released. Slated for theatrical release in March because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic, it was pushed back considerably. I'm a critic and I actually had a reservation to go see an advanced screening of the film to do a review, but of course that never happened. They pushed it back for like July or August, but then a lot of the theaters stayed closed, so they pushed it back again. Finally, Disney Plus released it direct to there, but you had to pay like a $30 premium to see it. I, on the other hand, didn't want to pay that fee, so I decided to just wait for the physical release, and the 4K Best Buy Steelbook is what I ended up getting. It's going to be free for viewing on Disney Plus starting sometime in December, but anyway, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Steelbook. I'm going to share a few opinions of the movie. It's not going to be a super in-depth review, but just sort of a general assessment, but we'll take a look at this, and then we'll move on with the review. Anyway, here's the front cover. You've got uh, Mulan wielding her weapon. Here's the spine text. Back cover with uh, her sword. Here's the Blu-ray disc which contains the film as well as the bulk of the bonus features. Here is the 4K disc. No bonus features on the 4K disc, they're all on the uh, Included Blu-ray disc. Here's the inner cover. Great panoramic shot of Mulan herself in there. Anyway, like I stated, this is a... It, it's been called a remake, but it's almost more of a reimagining because it's more like a new interpretation of the classic tale of Mulan that it is a straight-up remake of the animated Disney film from 1998. This version gets rid of the musical numbers and it gets rid of the talking animal characters and things like that, going for a little bit more of a gritty feel. The film stars Yifei Liu as Mulan, and then it also stars the likes of Gong Li, Jason Scott Li, Jet Li. A definite who's who of actors here. I mean, even uh, Donnie Yen is in this as well, so it's an all-star cast, and it's directed by uh, Nikki Caro. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I hope I'm pronouncing all of these names right, because a lot of these names I wasn't really familiar with prior to this. Some of the work on the screenplay also came from uh, Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver, who worked on those rebooted Planet of the Apes movies a few years ago, some of my personal favorites of recent years. The movie, of course, revolves around Mulan, who has a sister and a mother and father, and when bandit attacks continue happening, the Emperor of China hands down a decree that one man from each family must go to serve their country. Mulan's father, himself a veteran, wants to go back, but unfortunately he's very frail in his older age due to his past injuries, so Mulan ultimately decides to dress as a man and impersonate a male member of her family so that she can go and serve in her family's name. But of course she has to keep her secret and the bandit attacks continue so it won't be long before the soldiers find themselves face to face with a terrible threat. These live action Disney remakes have honestly been kind of hit and miss. You never quite know what to expect or what you're going to get. I mean, for instance, I thought Guy Ritchie's Aladdin remake was great, very true to the original, but managed to put just a little bit of a new spin onto it. But then, like, you have things like the, uh, the Dumbo remake, which is just a misfire despite Tim Burton at the helm. I could go on and assess each of these piece by piece, but I'm not going to do that here. That's a story for another day. I did have some issues with Mulan, but ultimately I think it's a pretty solid film. I do like that they went for more of a a gritty feel than the original. I mean, a lot of people were up in arms because, oh no, Mushu is not in the movie. But again, it's a very different interpretation. This is actually rated PG-13, the first of the Disney live-action remakes to be rated as such, although 
The violence is largely bloodless for the most part. I mean, if you've seen movies in, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you've seen more violence than you'll see in this film. Ultimately, great performances from a lot of the actors. Yifei Liu is great as Mulan, bringing both the innocence and the courage and determination a role like this requires. One thing that this movie stays true to the original on is the presence of gender roles and wanting to break away from all of that, and this version of the movie certainly does that just as well as the original, if not better. I wouldn't say that this movie is a better movie than the animated original. They're two completely different kinds of movies covering the same subject, but overall, despite a few qualms I have here and there, it's not half bad, and I wish people would give it a chance nonetheless. The only real issues I have, for the most part, are the slightly overwrong one time, the treatment of the element of chi in the film. It's like they almost try to turn this into a superpower, almost like something out of Dragon Ball, and that just doesn't really work for a film like this. And then there's a character called the Witch by a lot of the characters who has some supernatural abilities. If we were going for something a little more realistic, I don't think this character really does that element any favors. Honestly, I don't even think the movie really needed this character as effective and menacing as she may appear. But overall, again, not a bad film. I think this was actually made very well, and it deserves a chance, even though I know a lot of people aren't going to give it one. Don't come in expecting a masterpiece. Don't expect a step-by-step -step retread of the original. There are certainly some homages to the original, but this is largely its own product, and I mean that in the best of ways. The 4K disc here looks absolutely beautiful. This movie was largely shot in the style of like the Asian action epics of the last 25 years or so. Movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The filming style here has a lot more in common with films like that, and I definitely mean that in a good way. The bonus features are all on the Blu-ray disc, and they include EPK-type behind-the-scenes features, deleted scenes, and even some music videos. What did you think of this new take on Mulan? Do you like it as well as you like the original? Will you be sticking with Disney's animated original? Do you think this blows the original away? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more content and give this video a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson and I will see you next time.